Hello, my name is Dawn Schaefer and I'm so excited to be here with you today. I am the owner of Lazy O Ranch, um, where we, uh, our sheep produce a yarn for us and I also indie dye some yarn. So today I have um, kind of a couple things I'd like to talk to you about. Uh, first is uh, some of the projects that I have completed. And then my friend, she let me use, borrow a couple of her sweaters to put on my display at shows. Um, the other thing is that um, new colorways, of course, that I have, um, they're geared for the assigned pooling yarn. And last but not least, I want to go over my um, project that I have been working on. Um, and I cannot wait to share it with you. So first off, we have the projects I have completed. And you might have seen some pictures on Facebook or Instagram, uh, but um, I still have to share them with you because if you are interested in a fun, fast knit, um, this is something you can definitely do. I was in the mood for fall colors um, when I did this, which was probably in February. And um, I'm thinking, why fall? But for some reason, I wanted to wrap myself up in fall colors instead of spring. So this would be a great sweater also for the spring summer months too, for a quick cardigan that you just want to put on if the nights get a little chilly. It would work uh, just as well for that. So this is my Douglas cardigan that I finished up and I practically wear this non-stop. The buttons are, these are clay buttons my, by my friend Carol for, from Glitz and Glaze and they are so pretty. I love her buttons so check her out um, if you are in, uh, you know, shopping around for uh, clay buttons she her buttons are wonderful the next one that is a super fast knit great for spring and summer um that's probably what i would wear it more for is the love note sweater this is in my color aubergine and it has mohair so it takes um a little over a skein of mohair and a skein of aubergine to make this so you can see the lace up front. It is beautiful. This past show that I did at the uh, Frederick, Maryland show, um, there were quite a few people with their Love Note sweaters on and they were beautiful. There are so many various ways that you could mix and match mohair and um, sock uh, yarn, which I kind of want to do, but my mom, she wants a robin egg blue one, so I've got to make that for her first. But um, I, a lot of them are cropped. I didn't, I don't really look that great in a cropped sweater. So I made mine longer and then she of course has the instructions to make the back end, you know, flow a little bit lower. It, it's a beautiful, fast knit. This knit is so fast and the instructions are so easy. It is a love note sweater by Tin Can Knits definitely search her out and find it especially if you want to try mohair which I was debating whether I wanted to do mohair but mohair including it in things is so much fun and it's just so completely soft it is so soft it's beautiful so the love note sweater here and then this is from my friend um, Angela and she is a beautiful friend of mine who made these two sweaters from my uh, indie dyed yarn. And um, this is crochet. It is a sweater, a free pattern by um, Fiber Expressions, but I don't know, uh, I don't remember what that pattern is. I'll have to search it out. If not, start searching for her through her patterns. This is a cardigan. And this, she did this in Cabernet, Confetti, and um, Still the One. And I thought it turned out beautiful. 
that's her first version of the sweater. This is her second version. This is, oh my gosh, I love these colors together. She chooses the most amazing colors to put together. So this is the same sweater. And um, like I said, it is actually crocheted in the texture. I don't know if the texture is beautiful. But the, she made this, and I think this is ink, maple, and estuary. And I thought it turned out beautiful. So that's what I wanted to share for sure. I've been displaying them at my shows, like I said before, and they are complete hits. So the pattern is um, by Fiber Expressions, and if I can search it out, I will, and I'll try to make a note of it somewhere in the description or whatnot in a comment section just to let you know uh, what the what it is third but uh, not least this is my Mizerna I think that's what it's called Mizerna sweater and I love this color yellow it is my favorite color yellow it's the only color yellow that actually goes well with my skin tone so the part that I am absolutely nervous about, which I'm hoping when I block it, it'll fit me. I think I made it a little bit too small, but I keep trying to stretch it out because I don't, oh my gosh, I don't wanna remake the same colors. I get a little bored if I have to choose the same colors over and over. But I think if I stretch it when I block it, it should fit me. So that's part I'm really worried about. That's why I haven't, I mean, I'm on the body. This is a piece of cake. And I thought I'd be further ahead. And I'm not because I'm a little bit bummed that it looks a little bit too small for me. But my goal is to knit a half an hour every day on this thing so I can finish it off. The sleeves right here, I don't know how far, how low I'll go with the sleeves. I don't want it too long. I might make it like maybe here. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I do have colors picked out for another one and I'm going to make sure the size is bigger for me. So, but I, I just love how this is turning out. This is Evening Primrose and um, the color work is Do It Again. So I thought it blended too much but once I started working the pattern out, it just came out so cool. So that, those are the colorways. Now we are on to four new colors for the assigned pooling. Now I don't have any uh, samples yet. And um, some of them are made, I couldn't find them, but I'll make sure to get patterns made. So this one is Deuce. I definitely want to see how this one turns out um, as an assigned pulling, you know, uh, how it works up doing, doing the florets. So there's, this one's Deuce. There we go. This one is Daydream. Or daydreaming. I really like this. And I'll be making up a sample of this. This one is probably my favorite one so far. And um, I can see having a shawl. I don't use a lot of shawls. I do more sweaters. So I can see making making up a sweater. This one is called Revelation. I like how the purple just pops right off this yarn. So I cannot wait to get started on that after my other projects. After my other projects, I have to remind myself after my other projects. This one is Paris. This is another favorite of mine. I don't know if this colorway would look good with me, the cream colored, I don't know. But I, I love it. I love these colors together. 
So like I said, I'll have samples made hopefully in the next couple weeks so I can share with you exactly how they look. And I think you are going to love them too. So th there we have it for projects, new yarns, and the project that I've been mulling over this and thinking about this. I've been wanting to do a, an advent calendar for Christmas. They look like so much fun. And I love the fact that, you know, choosing, getting a skein of yarn out for every day through Advent is so much fun. And then also putting together possible um, patterns that you could use using all of your Advent calendar skeins. Um, it, what The idea wasn't difficult for me to do, but the theme was. It took me since, oh my gosh, since November to come up with a theme that I was happy with. At first I thought about Friends because I enjoy um, Friends, the show, TV show Friends so much. Um, but I really wasn't seeing any colors off that show were, that were speaking to me. Um, I thought about doing album covers, but nothing really was speaking to me. I, I wanted to stick to like a movie or a TV show. And um, I looked at Dharma and Greg. Um, what other ones? Dharma and Greg. Oh, goodness. There are a couple other ones, but I, I was just really having a hard time. And I finally found a movie that would, that fits perfectly with um, how I'm seeing colors right now. And uh, I cannot share with you what it is um, right now because I'm still figuring things out, but it is going, this movie is going to be the, um, the theme of the advent calendar and the movie title is absolutely perfect and I think it's something that will speak to us um, during that time that we all need to hear. So next week I'll be sharing with you the advent calendar movie. I don't know if I'm su supposed to share with you the colorways or not, but the movie I will. Colors I'm not quite sure. So you guys have an amazing day. Thanks for spending the day with me and I will talk to you and see you in the next video.